well who must do computer engineering let's talk about that today if you have a passion for mathematics and uh, you have done a little bit of coding in your school uh, and you really like doing it and you look forward to building your own game uh, or your own website and you have a you know dire interest to know how a website is being created how does the different apps work then i would say that you are right on track don't do it because somebody is asking you to do it or somebody says that there is a lot of scope in that so go ahead and do it you must also know whether you are interested in that field so those who are good you know in childhood if you have done a lot of logical reasoning and uh, aptitude test and you kind of have an analytical mind that uh, builds uh, a base for computer engineers also i would even suggest i would request parents to uh you know t- uh, your students must or the your child must know what excel is microsoft excel uh, as everyone knows that wherever we are we are still using it so microsoft excel the knowledge is also a key factor which i would request all engineers to know for the future if you look at the world around you then computers networking iot big data sdn are all here to stay that's why there is a pull towards this branch everyone wants to uh, do computer engineering but i don't promise you that you will become an expert or all of you out there who joins the program will be an expert because you need to put in that extra efforts maybe during your summer and uh, your winter vacations you may have to do some extra uh, you know uh, building your skills maybe some certifications as everyone is doing in this quarantine from Co- uh, coursera edx linkedin uh, you know udemy but uh, i have a question in this that does it really benefit you when will it benefit you it will only benefit you when you apply it to a particular project so whenever you're doing these certifications you must know that unless and until you apply it to a particular project that's why we have projects in the final year till then you have not yet become industry driven or you have not become industry ready engineers you have to think about after completion of your computer engineering what you are headed for because that makes it more clear if you are someone who is going to uh, you know go for the placement or you have decided to do your masters or you are going ahead with research so this has to be a little bit clear in the four years and if you think about it prior to it the better it's not just about the security of your job because everyone thinks that if i do this then i have a job security it is also a lot on your interest in the four years of an engineering you must be able to identify what you're good at what do you like doing so if you are going to go for research for example then you identify what's your core branch just like medical students decide what they are good at and then go and pursue they want to do an md in it so similarly even you today before you decide the branch of engineering you must know what you are headed for in the next 5 years that will give you a clear vision of why you should do this it's very nice to see that many universities and colleges are coming up with integrated programs they have done msc integrated with data science there are even programs coming in our very own city where they have brought computer engineering with ai and data science so the the need of the r is out there and if you are very good in your studies and you can give devote yourself to this branch 
then I can promise you that you will be a good engineer and that's what the country needs today. So I hope that uh, I have been able to give you a sneak peek into uh, computer engineering.